I'm Tia Hogarruge. I'm from Mexico, and I'm a specialist in environmental education and communication and public policies for climate change. Excellent. The first question is, what should be done to achieve the 1.5 degrees Celsius climate goal? Well, I think uh, this morning I shared a panel on leadership. And first of all, we need very good leadership and leadership that has knowledge and uses science for decisions. Uh, secondly, we need uh, young people to take new leadership and we need to really use our knowledge and technologies to achieve that we have not more than two tons of emissions per person, which is the goal for 2050. And this will imply change in our way we consume. What is the role of forums like the World Sustainable Development Forum for catalyzing action for achieving the sustainable development goals? Well, I think the role is to bring people together from all over the, the world as Dr. Pachauri had the vision. And uh, it is important to meet personally and to exchange ideas. It's not just the panels and listening to all this incredible knowledge. It is the fact that you know that there are people all over the world working on this. It is amazing to know how much knowledge there is around the world. And we need to exchange this knowledge because very often we have one part of the picture, but we don't have the other one. And uh, for, the, for example, this morning, you know, there were people that were talking about China and India, which are huge countries, but then they were also representative of small island states. And to realize that there are small islands that are really in danger of disappearing it's very important. So we need to gather, we need to have personal contact, and we need to exchange this knowledge and take joint decisions. What should be the role of youth in achieving goals of climate ambition and climate action? Well, I see an incredible youth nowadays, which is informed, which is educated, which has consciousness, and which has a leadership. And youth has assumed this role because it is urgent. We are now aware that this is an urgent action. We cannot wait another generation or two because we will have no planet left. So the role of youth is to use this knowledge of the previous generation, is to have us as, you know, please, you know, here we are, any knowledge, any experience we can share is important but I see youth really leading the change, the change we need in the world. Awesome. How do you like Durango? I adore Durango. It's one of my favorite states in Mexico. It is one of the largest states in Mexico. It has one of the largest forest reserves and water reserves. It has a very large desert and also special biodiversity with a desert and at the same time forest ecosystem. And historically seen, it is also uh, a state in which, you know, uh, well, the revolution started here with Pancho Villa, the very famous uh, Pancho Villa, <laughs> which everyone knows around the world. And Durango also is a state with a lot of mining. And it is a great challenge for Durango to be a sustainable state. Because if you have mining, how do you manage sustainable mining? How do you manage sustainable forests and sustainable deserts? So finally, what can states like Durango do? I think Durango can, is already an example of sustainable forestry, and they have to work much more on it. Uh, I think this is probably their biggest asset. And also it is a state in which renewable energies uh, have a great chance because there is a lot of sun, there is a lot of space, 
to, to have like renewable energy farms. And also in the city, as uh, in the cities, you know, there could be solar panels and it can really be an example of a sustainable state. 